All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. So we're gonna finally start the GTR. Um, everything is all put back together and all buttoned up. And uh, let's go ahead and start it up, you guys. So this is the first time um, I'm gonna start it in like six months. So uh, hopefully we got some uh, battery and uh, everything goes uh, smooth. access port and we're gonna check what the uh, check engine light is so all right guys so we're gonna check the access port here I'm gonna turn it back on troubleshoot right I think you're gonna read the codes no codes found oh that's weird uh, maybe we have to start the car yeah, right there have that check ending code right there, right there so exit this See if it works now. Right there, engine unit DCT. P0603. So I'm looking at the code here. Um, I'm kind of guessing uh, P063 or P0603. Um, it says poor or loose battery terminal connection or low battery charge. So I'm assuming because I parked it for so long and the battery was kind of low, uh, I'm assuming it's uh, low charge. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear the code with the access port and then hopefully that solves the, uh, the code. So I'm just uh, resetting the codes now and it should be good to go. All right guys, so living in Alberta every springtime, um, when the snow melts, there's going to be a lot of gravel on the road. And um, to solve that issue with the windshields from not cracking, uh, I do like to install uh, a product called ExoShield or, or uh, ClearPlex. Um, you know what? It is a diminishable product, uh, so you have to replace it after every couple of years. But because I don't really drive mine so often, um, it's been on there for a good three, four years. So well past its uh, lifespan. So I, I did remove it and I'm gonna put it on a new sheet. And um, so far it's been working pretty well. Uh, I've taken a couple hits on the windshield and no issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a time lapse and then uh, show you guys what the end product's gonna look like. So I finally uh, heated it all down, just roughly around the uh, windshield here. So when I trim 
around the edges and then we're gonna do another final heat down and get it to lay down even flatter so it's easier to install. Tough stuff, it's not the same as tint, it's a lot thicker. Uh, tint is so much easier to shrink, uh, not this stuff, but we'll just keep on going here. nicely trimmed down and it's pretty flat now so we're gonna uh, go ahead and get Blake to clean up the windshield and we're gonna install it. It's pretty important to prep the windshield because uh, you gotta make sure the stuff sticks and uh, Blake pretty, uh, does a pretty good job. <laughs> working on it, Kevin. Save me a lot of money, eh? Do you heat up? I know you like it. Alright guys, so it's pretty much done. Uh, virtually pretty clear. I did make a kind of a mistake here, so I had to trim some of it off. But other than that, it's... It does the job, you guys. You know, living in Alberta, it, I do highly recommend it. It's uh, pretty fantastic product. But again, it's uh, not the cheapest to get installed. But uh, it's well worth it, you guys. Just replacing the windshield is kind of a pain in the ass, and uh, especially in this situation with the GTR, you have to remove the windshield garnish and all that stuff, and can potentially damage, and you have to repaint it and stuff like that. So. Extra shield, it's worth it. But, uh, oh, by the way, kind of want a beautiful, beautiful F8 in the shop, you guys. And uh, beautiful, beautiful car to work on. Not many in Alberta, and uh, it's absolutely a treat to work on it when you get some stuff like this in the shop. But, uh, yeah, same thing. Came in for the actual shield treatments here and uh, the interior is uh, astounding, you know, it's absolutely beautiful. And of course, plastic glass or Lexani engine cover. Hey right, guys, what do you think? Five, roughly 500 grand Canadian? I don't know, I, I'm not a, I don't know. I think I would spend my money somewhere else. But again, I'm not rich, right? So, but I do love my uh, GTR, so I don't know. It's mixed feelings, but no doubt, beautiful car. While I'm filming this vlog right now, it's uh, Easter long weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, well, I guess by the time this video is up, it will be past already, but I hope you guys all enjoyed your long weekend and uh, had a restful one. But uh, thanks again, you guys, for uh, supporting the channel. And uh, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, turn on the notification if you haven't, and uh, share with all your friends. And looking forward to seeing you guys in the next week's vlog. See ya. Like, oh, yeah.